This is TV 18. And you're watching CNBC TV 18. Presented by National Stock Exchange. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Presented by National Stock Exchange. Hello and a warm welcome to NSC Financial Quest Season 3. I'm your host Lloyd Sildana and today we are coming to you from the city of Nawabs, Lucknow. Eight teams are going to battle it out here for the top position and they will reach the national semi-finals in Mumbai. Ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, let's begin this quiz by introducing to you the eight finalists here. Table number one, we have Maharaja Agrasen Public School, a team of Manya and Shreya. <laughs> Table number two is the Avad School, a team of Pratik and Harsh. <laughs> Table number three is the Royal Mount Academy, a team of Shubhika and Sonam. <laughs> Table number four is Town Hall Public Inter College, a team of Satya and Aditya. Table number five is Dr. I.D. Rastogi Academy, a team of Haider and Ashwita. <laughs> Table number six is Gayasiban Public School, a team of Ria and Prakar. <laughs> the penultimate team is Sri Ayodhya Singh Memorial Inter College, a team of Shubangi and Varun. <laughs> and last but definitely not the least, Red Roses School, a team of Shivanshi and Shweta. <laughs> Those then, ladies and gentlemen, your eight contenders here at Lucknow. We will take a first look at the rounds of this quiz. We will move into crossover, and here it comes. Logic of this round, guys, pretty simple. Where you can choose what you would like to play. Would you like to play one down, three across, four down? All your choice. Based on that, I will give you a hint. Okay? Based on my hint, you need to try and answer the crossword. We start this round in a clockwise direction. We start with Maharaja Agrasen and we finish this round with Red Rose. Ten points for getting the answer right, irrespective whether you answer it on a direct or on a pass. Let me open up, uh, I think I'm going to do eight across. My hint to the question would be, return of a portion of a purchase price by a seller to a buyer usually on purchase of a specified quantity or value or goods within a spe specified period. Okay, let me give you the answer and we can move on from there. The word I was looking for is rebate. M Maharaja Agrasen, we start with you. What is your choice? Six down. Six down is your choice and my clue on six down to you would be a promise by one person to perform the obligations of a second person to a third person in the event the second person fails to do so. What is the one word that defines this? Pass. Okay. I'm moving you on to table number two, the Harvard School. Pass. You're passing. We'll move on to table number three. That would be uh, Royal Mount Academy. So we don't have any idea. You don't have an idea. Okay, fair enough. Town Hall Public School, table number four. Pass. Passing. Table number five, we move across. Dr. I.D. Rastogi Academy? Pass. Okay. Moving across? Pass. You are passing to table number seven. Pass. Passing. Table eight. Don't have an idea. <laughs> no idea. Okay. Let me give you the answer and I'll move on. The word I'm looking for is guarantee. We move on. Table number two. Uh, Our public school. What is your choice? Seven across. Okay. Nice. Uh, your choice is a four letter answer finally. And your clue would be to sell something such as a stock, business, home, at a loss, or to dispose of a surplus, or to eliminate competition. Pass. Passing. Moving on. Table number three. So I think sold. Sold. Good try, but moving on. Table number four. Passing. Loss. Loss, loss. and pass. Okay, I'll, I'll take that both as the wrong answer, but go on. Table number five. Loss. That's the same thing what she said. I would have given it to her if that were right. Moving on, table six. Sir, pass. Okay. Table seven. Pass. Passing. Table eight. No idea. No idea again. Uh, moving across to table number one. No, 
sir, no idea. No idea, okay. It's a simple four letter word called dump. Let's uh, move on to table number three. What is your choice? Two down. Two down is what you choose and your clue on two down would be one that acquires goods or services for direct use. Customer. We'll come back to you, but for now, let me move on to table number four. Consumer. That would be the right answer that fits in on a crossword. Plus 10 is what you get. Good answer on getting consumer, right? <laughs> Moving on, uh, 10 points. You've already got uh, table number four, and the question is yours. What's your choice? 1A. One across, okay. A nationally recognized, well-established, and financially sound company which sells high-quality, widely accepted products and services. Don't have any idea. No idea. I like, I like the way you guys are very blatant about it. It's nice to know. Moving across, table number five. It's a pass. Passing on, table number six. I don't have any idea. No idea. Moving on, table number seven. I don't know. Passing, table number eight. No idea. Passing again, table number one. Pass. Pass. Table number two. Pass. Is also a pass. Table number three. You missed out on the last question. Can you make up for it on this one? No, sir. You're passing too. The word I was looking for is blue chip. We'll move on uh, to table number five this time. Five down. Five down is your choice. An estimation of the revenue and expenses over a specified future period of time. Pass. Passing, moving across to table Pass. number six. Sorry? Sir, pass. And that's an immediate pass without even, you don't even want to think about it. Doesn't idea. Fair enough. Moving across, table seven. Pass. Rapid fire pass again. Across board to table number eight. Sorry, no idea. Okay. Moving across, table number one. So no idea. Okay, fair enough. Table two. Say, is it budget? You're asking me or are you telling me? Fair enough. The word I'm looking for is budget. Very, very nice answer. Plus 10 on getting budget, right? <laughs> Moving across, table number 6. Sir, 9A. Your clue is the amount or equivalent paid or charged for something. Rent. It's not rent. I'm moving you across to table number seven. Debt. D-E-B-T is what you're going for. Amount paid or charged for something? Debt? No, it's not debt. Across board, tab uh, table number eight. No. Yes? No idea. No, no idea. Across board, table number one. So tax. Debt. Sorry? Tax. Tax. I said it's a four-letter word and it finishes with a T. How would tax fit in there? Moving across, table number two. It's a pass. You're passing across, young ladies. Table number three. No idea, sir. Okay, table four. No, no idea. idea. You're passing two. It was your question. So, table number five. It's a pass question. I can't give you that much time. But uh, that was your question. So, the answer that I was looking for was a simple four letter word called cost. C O S T. We're done with this. Uh, the last team to four take the crossword. Four down is your choice. Your clue is a fall in demand that causes a lowering of economic activity. No idea. Okay. Going across, table number one. Pass. Passing, table two. Pass. Passing. Ladies. Slow down. Beautiful answer. Beautiful answer on getting that right. Slow down is the right answer. You will get yourself 10 points. Ladies and gentlemen, we're done with one round of this quiz. This has been a tantalizingly slow round, but we will make up for the slow start to this round. But all that at the other side of this break. Don't go anywhere. Keep watching. You're watching NSC Financial Quest Season 3. We're coming to you from Lucknow. Keep watching. Who 
says you can't profit from markets on a weekend. Tune in to CNBC TV 18 on Saturday and Sunday mornings to prepare yourself for the week ahead and get a head start that you will profit from. Taking stock at these times only on CNBC TV 18. Oh, Urbanization is growing up with the speed of the speed of the speed of the speed of the you heard the leaders. Now let's hear your voice. Send in your ideas for better cities. Change India, an agenda for the next PM. Once in a while, you experience a journey that is simply world class with small touches that thrill you and make you feel it has all been designed for you. Every effort has been made so you can arrive fresh and well rested. So you can feel at home no matter where you are. Every perfect pairing of taste and aroma raises the expectations of your palate. On board Qatar Airways 787 Dreamliner, every journey is made up of five-star touches. Designed for your pleasure. You're watching NSC Financial Quest Season 3 and we are coming to you from the city of Lucknow. We've had one round. Let's take a quick look at the scores and then we will move on to more rounds and more action. For now, it's Financial Caution coming up on your screen now. Those were the scores. Let's quickly move into the next round of this quiz. It's called Picture This and here it comes. All of you would get four pictures, okay? One after the other. Each picture, if you get the answer right based on the question on it, you will get 10 points on the buzzer. But if you get it wrong, there is a catch point of minus five that goes into your account. Here we go. Let's go into the first question. Identify this currency. Table number two, Awad Public School. You've gone on the buzzer on this. What is your answer? Yen. 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 Y-E-N. Looking at that, that would be a minus five to start with. The currency was actually the Nepali rupee. Question number two. Here we go. Identify a service from Google. What service is this? Nobody? Okay, I'll give you the answer and then we can move on. This is called Google Wallet. We will move on to the next question. Here we go. Identify a bank from this ad. Someone's gone on the buzzer. This would be table number six. What is your answer? Sir, Access Bank. It's not the Access Bank. That's okay. That's a good try though. It's the Indus Ind Bank. And the last one in this round. Here we go. This is, it says Department of Post India. And this is a form for what? Anybody? No one? Okay, again, something for you to learn from here today. What we are showing you was the specimen of the money order form. That brings us to the end of round two. We will move on to the next round before we take a look at the scores after that. But for now, let's move on to the next round of this quiz. It's called Quick Buck, and here it comes. I will read a statement now. The statement could be true or the statement could be false. So you hit the buzzer and tell me which of the two you think is right. Plus five if you get it right, minus five if you get it wrong. I have just one rule to this round, which is when I'm reading the statement, if you stop me in between my statement, as in if you hit the buzzer, I will stop right there. 
Statement number one. Using a credit card is just like writing a check and it withdraws funds from your account. True or false? That's table number seven. The young man has gone on the buzzer. What is your answer? False. Why do you say it's false? No, sir. Check is... A check and a check credit card is two different card is things. Use in ATM. Good answer. Good answer. Plus five. Nice answer on getting that right. Second statement. Buying used cars is a good way to minimize depreciation. True or false? Yeah. Again. True. Why true? You're just taking a guess at this one. That's a good guess to take. Plus five again. Good one on getting that right. Statement number three. A closely held corporation sells its shares openly in stock markets. True or false? Table number five, you've gone for it. Yes. True. What is the answer? True. Why do you say it's true? Oh, you're guessing. <laughs> Sometimes guesses don't really pay off because, like the statement says, it's a closely held corporation. How will it sell its shares openly? So it's false. So that would mean a minus five that you get on that statement. A document that shows where a business's cash has gone is a statement of cash flow. True or false? So is it true or false? False. False. Why do you say that? I think so. so. You're taking a guess again. A document that shows where a business's cash is gone is called a statement of cash flow is actually true. Because a statement of cash flow shows where the business's cash is gone. So that's a minus five that you get. We've done with three rounds of this quiz. Couple of negatives here, a couple of sad faces. Don't worry, it's just a quiz. We're getting along just fine. We've got a couple more rounds to play. We will take a quick break for now. On the other side of the break, scores and lots more to come. Keep watching. You're watching NSC Financial Quest Season 3 from Lucknow. <laughs> The trends that drive markets, corporate India or your money. Catch them first with me, Ramesh Tamani, on an all new season of RD360. Money, Markets, Mogul. Only on TNBC TV 18. Macros behind the micro market movements on markets and macros at these times only on CNBC TV 18. MCX Stock Exchange, India's new stock exchange presents markets and macros in association with Raindrops Basmati Rice, GE, Magic Moments, and Goldrich Air Twist Gel. As part of our Young Turks tradition, we welcome the new year with a panel discussion to spot the big ideas for 2014. But do you see a, a lot of global giants, whether it's e-commerce or otherwise, Padmaja, uh, making a play on India in 2014? I do think so. I think we have a very large market here and this is one way of accessing the user base, customer base and getting into the large uh, market. We've probably not had like more than one or two investments in online education mm. or mobile-led edu education. Mm. That'll change. I think we're going to look at entertainment uh, and digital media as being one of the first things that people do on mobile and on these connected devices. So is this the difference between the old school and the new school? I'm going to be really shameless yeah. about it. Micro VCs can't, can't afford to invest in offline businesses. Yeah. Yeah. At these times, only on CNBC TV 18. Young Turks, brought to you by Berger Weathercoat All Guard and Kohler. Welcome back. You're watching NSE Financial Quest Season 3. We are coming to you from the city of Lucknow. Let's take a quick look at the scores and on the other side, let's go on with more rounds to play. Financial Quotient coming up on your screen now. We 
will quickly go into the next round of this quiz. It's called uh, Brick by Brick. Here it comes. Rules of the game, very, very simple. You're going to get either a text-based or a visual clue with a couple of blank bricks below it. Plus 10 if you get it right without any hints, just empty bricks. You identify the visual and you, or the text and you give me an answer, you'll get a plus 10. Somebody gets on the buzzer, gets it wrong, it's a minus 5. And the rest of you can try for the next time with a hint where a couple of letters will come in in the box. So it helps you answer a little easier. Any doubts that you have? Sure? No doubts at all? Okay. Let's go into the first question. Here we go. Question number one. If penny is to pound, sen is to which currency? On the buzzer. Okay, there's someone gone on the buzzer. That's table number five. You've gone on the buzzer. What's your answer? Yen. Okay. Yen would give you plus ten. Good one on that one. We'll move on to the next question here. That's uh, 10 points for getting yen, right? Send uh, co corresponding with the yen. Moving on, the second question. It's a two word that I'm looking for from this statement. Here we go. An investment program funded by shareholders that trades in diversified holding and is professionally managed. Go on. Mutual fund. Mutual fund is a good one. You get yourself a plus 10 on that one. Here we go with the next one. Where would you find this currency? In which fictional world would you find this currency? No? Okay. Let's go into a couple of clues. Maybe that will help your cause. Here we go. Okay. You're going for it. Table number two, out public school. What's your answer? Flintstones. Why did you take so much time to answer? It is the Flintstones. And you get yourself a plus five for getting that right. And the last one of this round. Here we go. Identify the logo. No? Anyone risking? Okay. No buzzers. No buzzers. Let's uh, take a hint. Here we go. Table number two. Our public school again. What is your answer? UBI Bank. Sorry? UBI Bank. You get yourself a minus five for saying UBI Bank. The actual answer I was looking for was Yuko Bank. We've got one more round to go. We'll go directly into this round. This round is called Intelligent Investor. Here it comes. This round has a simple logic to it. You will get a situation or something to do about life, okay, from the world of finance. And you will get three different choices. Only one of the choices suits best to the question. Hit the buzzer, get it right, you get a plus five. Hit the buzzer, get it wrong, you get a minus five. All good? Here we go. Question number one coming up on your screen now. Ravi has recently won one crore by participating in a reality show. Ravi is not sure about the taxation of this money. Which one of the following holds true in terms of his taxation? No tax has to be paid as this is not salary income. B, tax to be paid as this is gain. Or C, tax not to be paid as reality show winning is not a certain. Table number two, Avad Public School again. Answer is B. Tax is to be paid as this is a gain will give you plus five. Good one. <laughs> Question number two coming up on your screen now. Mr. Gupta is a very conservative investor and either keeps his money into a bank or invests in buying land. He believes both options are equally good and does not make too much difference. Which of these looks correct with respect to both these asset classes? 1. Land and bank accounts are both highly liquid assets. 2. Land is, a, is an illiquid asset whereas a bank is a liquid asset or 3. Land is never risky to invest, whereas banks are too risky. Yes, that's table number eight that's it's gone on the C. buzzer. It's C. Land is never risky to invest, whereas bank is risky. How is bank risky? You will get a minus five for that. The actual answer there was land is an illiquid asset, whereas bank is a liquid asset. We'll move on to the third part here. 
Birla Limited is into the business of lending money and investing money. They do not accept cash deposits though. They want to start accepting cash as well as from public on a regular basis. What do they need to do to start this business? Your options are need to apply and get a banking license from RBI. Option two, need to open a special office with security to store cash or op option three, need to start just start accepting cash and give receipts. Table number three, the two young ladies have gone for A1. it. A1. Sorry? A. A. Need to apply and get a banking license from RBI. That's all that they need to do and that's all will give you plus five. Good one on getting that right. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're done with the five rounds of this quiz here at Lucknow. Let's quickly take a look at the financial quotient and see where the teams stand. Here we go. Down all public school on table number four with some nice answers and quick answers ensure are the champions here today at Lucknow. Put your hands together for them. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've had a great time here today at Lucknow where the teams have battled it hard. It's been a tough fight and a tough quiz. The expression said all to you. But we're done here. We'll move on to the penultimate city soon, that is Goa. But until then, it's goodbye from me, Lloyd Sadana, and from the entire team of CNBC TV 18 and NSC Financial Quest Season 3. It's goodbye and see you next week. Take care. Focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. Presented by National Stock Exchange. We were looking for a uh, track record, we were looking for uh, sustainability going forward. I was looking for scalability, if the business model can be scaled up, and if so, how, how fast. And I was also looking for...